I'm happy in my own skin. How about that? I'm in love with myself. Naomi Campbell sacrificed a lot to be at the top, including the love of her life. In the 90s and 2000s, this top model beauty was the queen of the fashion industry. But fans know that Naomi gave up some important parts of her life in order to gain so much success. Now at 51 years old, this new parent surprised fans by welcoming her first child. From her love life to parenthood, Naomi Campbell did what she had to do to be one of the world's most iconic figures. I've never been a dating person. I've always been someone that's been in relationship. As a top model, Naomi sacrificed a lot to get where she is today, including, according to her, finding a romantic soulmate. Was it all worth it? For anyone who's been following Naomi's career, you know that this model puts fashion and work ahead of her love life. That's why fans were amazed when the star announced her new plus one. In a post captioned, No Greater Love, Naomi Campbell revealed that she's now a first-time parent to a newborn baby girl. The star's first post read, A beautiful blessing has chosen me to be her mother. So honored to have this gentle soul in my life. There are no words to describe the lifelong bond that I now share with you, my angel. There is no greater love. Recently, Naomi opened up about parenthood for the first time since welcoming her new daughter. In an interview with BBC Hard Talk, Naomi said she's lucky to be a parent to her dream child, adding, she's wonderful. She's very independent already, very smart, alert, sleeps 12 hours. She's a good girl. Since welcoming her first child, Naomi has been very private about the new addition and hasn't revealed her daughter's name or details about her birth. It's clear, however, that there aren't many things life has to offer that this superstar is willing to miss out on. The model also hasn't revealed if there's a man in her life, or if her child was adopted or born via surrogate. Four years earlier, however, Campbell shared that thanks to science, she'd be able to have a baby whenever she wanted to or was ready. Becoming a mom at 50 is a huge undertaking, and fans are wondering if she's doing it all by herself or if there's a secret partner in her life that Naomi is keeping low-key. Some fans are even speculating on parentage, some even pointing out that her last public relationship was with a certain member of One Direction. Sorry, painters, I'd say that's not very likely. The star previously revealed that she'd often thought about having children, but wasn't in a rush to start a family. In whichever method the star decided to become a parent, we're so excited for this next chapter in her life. At just 14 years old, Naomi Campbell was discovered on the streets of London, an agent from Synchro Agency taking notice of her striking features. Immediately, the young aspiring ballerina dove into the world of fashion, paving the way for women of color on the runways of haute couture. She landed a few jobs with French Elle, spending time in Paris and meeting European celebrities. The 90s It Girl booked campaigns with the industry's biggest brands like Saint Laurent and Dolce & Gabbana. During the height of her fame, Naomi also starred in music videos for Michael Jackson and pop rocker George Michael. In 1988, when she was still a teenager, Naomi Campbell became the first person of color to model for the cover of Vogue France. A year later, Anna Wintour chose her for the cover of American Vogue, changing the face of fashion and the future of the industry. The glitz and glam of Naomi's star-studded life led to vacations abroad and stays at fancy hotels all over the world a life every model dreams of. Naomi overcame whatever stood in her way of becoming a success. The Vogue cover model said that from a young age, studying stage performance, she knew that because of her skin color, she'd have to work hard. She said, you had to put in the extra effort. You had to be twice as good. In a recent interview with The Cut, Naomi admitted that her modeling career has meant sacrificing a lot in her personal life, like finding a romantic partner who would understand her drive and determination for success in the fashion world. The model explained that lately, she'd learned the importance of prioritizing herself and spending time with family. To become successful, Naomi said, I'd say the sacrifice is really finding that soulmate who will understand you. You know, I'm strong, but I'm also sensitive. I know that in relationships, I have to compromise. Throughout her decades-long career as one of the world's top sought-after models, Naomi continued to put work first, often letting go of relationships in order to work harder at her goals and dreams. But over the years, Naomi Campbell has been linked to an array of famous partners in a series of brief romantic relationships. None lasted too long, but always made headlines. In the 90s, when Naomi was just beginning her career in fashion, the budding runway star was linked romantically to Hollywood actor Robert De Niro. The pair never confirmed their relationship, but were seen together often. Naomi once said that she prefers to keep her relationships private and away from the public eye. She said, For me, privacy is important to know each other, and I always worry that my job will not allow that. But I have ways. 
I was taught that by Robert De Niro. In the mid-90s, Naomi dated the bass player from the band U2, Adam Clayton. The pair dated from 1993 until 1994 and stayed friends long after. Naomi later told Irish Independent she's friends with the whole band, praising her ex's success in the music industry. I only have very positive things to say about him. I'm very proud of Adam. In 1995, Naomi began one of her most headline-friendly dalliances. The star was in a relationship with the notorious Leonardo DiCaprio, who fans know has a thing for models. After their breakup, Naomi and Leo stayed close friends and often worked on charity events together. After that, she famously dated Usher. One of the model's longer relationships was between 1998 and 2002, when she dated Benton boss Flavio Briatore, who was 21 years older than the model, by the way. Soon after, Naomi was linked to rapper and producer P. Diddy before a quick year-long fling with businessman Badr Jafar. In 2007, Naomi was rumored to be dating Gerard Butler. A few years later, Naomi met and fell for a hotel owner and Russian billionaire Vladislav Doronin. The pair were together between 2009 and 2013. In 2018, Naomi went official with rapper Skepta when they appeared in a GQ cover shoot together. A year later, the model in One Direction's Liam Payne were said to be dating following her breakup from the rapper and Payne split from singer Cheryl Cole. Despite the 23-year age gap, fans were hoping this relationship was legit. In an interview with Jonathan Ross, Naomi said, I never discuss my pressure. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's like, like one day it's one person, the next day it's another. Who's tomorrow? For me, I laugh. The stories are incredible. It's humorous. I just get on with my life. As for long-term single life, Naomi stated it doesn't bother her, especially when she's so busy with work. She said, being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. I don't have time to be bored, and I don't have time to be lonely. Naomi also told The Cut that she's happy with who she's become as a person. I don't have a problem looking at myself in the mirror anymore and facing and owning who I am. Parenthood is only the most recent step in Naomi's long list of achievements. In addition to her work on the runway and cover spreads, Naomi Campbell has spent her life extending her talents to the field of philanthropy. Using her massive fame, the star launched Fashion for Relief in 2005 a nonprofit charity organization that allows fashion brands and runway shows to collaborate with and donate to worldwide charities dedicated to education. Naomi became an assistant director for several magazines and interviewed world leaders and Hollywood's elite. She's worked with people like Kate Moss, Michelle Obama, and Oprah. During the pandemic, Naomi became known for her advocacy for safety precautions. In working with her organization, the model spends part of her time living in Kenya and has spoken openly about adoption and her love for kids. Does that mean more babies are in the cards for Naomi Campbell? Naomi Campbell has come a long way in her career, and now she's taking on one of the most challenging roles of all. She gave up a lot to get to where she is today. Are you a Naomi Campbell fan? Let us know what you think of this top model's love life choices in the comments below. Subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more stories about Hollywood's biggest stars.